Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great morning this morning. It's Sunday morning. It's coffee kind of morning. Um, I'm going to call this one uh, something old, something new, and some VCLT2 because I uh, have all three to show you. So uh, um, I received a, a, some nice little VCLT from uh, my good buddy, Mr. Glenn Calloway from the basement. Uh, love that guy. Um, just my neighbor up the street, about 15, 20 minutes from here. And uh, uh, he kindly dropped a couple of things off to me. Luckily, we're close enough that uh, uh, we don't have to mail anything because <laughs> that gets pricey and uh, who knows how long it's going to take to get there. Uh, also, um, because Ontario's in a shutdown or lockdown, uh, relying on Amazon for uh, some new stuff, which I have to show you. And I also um, had an idea yesterday to dig through a lot of the albums that I got in uh, that hall in the summertime that I hadn't really gone through, and I found some gems in there. Uh, so those are the old, uh, but uh, cool stuff at the same time. So let's get started. Uh, some BCLT from Mr. Callaway, Monkey's Greatest Hits. Love these guys. I only have one other Monkey's uh, compilation album, and uh, always happy to have this one. Um, Monkey's theme, Last Train to Clarksville. She, Daydream Believer. Listen to a, fr uh, listen to the band. A little bit of me, a little bit of you. Um, I'm a believer. I want to be free. Pleasant Valley Sunday. I'm not your stepping stone, and uh, Shades of Grey. Uh, cool, cool stuff. Love it. Also, uh, he knew I didn't have any uh, albums by this fine gentleman. Um, this is Van Morrison, The Healing Game. Uh, I've only listened to a couple of things on this one. I've still got to get into it yet. But uh, an amazing artist. And uh, it's his... Um, 1997 release, 26th studio album. Um, from what I understand, not a weak song on the album either. Um, and just going back, this is a 1976 release of this compilation here. But uh, imagine, um, just in 1997, 26 studio albums already from this guy. Remarkable, remarkable stuff. Also, uh, one of my favorite alternative bands from the 90s. Uh, this is the debut album from Collective Soul. Hints, Allegations, and uh, All Things Left Unsaid. Uh, super, super album. Um, 1992 debut. And uh, big hit off of the Shine. Sorry, kind of put them on the map. Um, actually, College Radio put them on the map um, and uh, that's how they became famous is college radio uh, heard the heard shine and it took off like a rocket and these guys that uh, became very very popular so there you go there and I'm getting a little ahead of myself in my order here but I might as well stick with the VCLT theme um, where is it in my list here? He also gave me this remarkable album, which I don't own. King Crimson in the Court of the Crimson King. Debut album by the band, uh, 1969. Um, Robert Fripp, of course, uh, and Greg Lake on bass and lead vocals which is awesome. And, uh, wow. It's in really, really good shape, Glenn. Thank you. The cover is near mint. <clears throat> Actually, it is mint. Not a mark on it. The vinyl... 
mint itself as well. And uh, I'm really happy to have it. Thank you so much, Glenn. You're awesome. Uh, if you don't know Glenn's channel, definitely check him out. Awesome super guy. And uh, yeah, he's got a great channel. Very knowledgeable. Uh, loves all kinds of um, unique bands and artists. And uh, um, love it. And uh, super nice guy. Super knowledgeable, as I said. And I go to his channel, Glenn Calloway from the basement. And uh, I'll put a link below to his channel. And uh, you guys subscribe if you already haven't. Uh, so something new. Um, I was flipping through Amazon uh, a little while ago and I saw this. Actually, sorry, let me apologize. Let me backtrack. That was something else. This is actually a hint from Mr. Kellaway. Um, and he's got to stop doing this because it's spending, it's costing me a lot of money. He was the one that recommended this one. I recommended one to him. Sorry. Um, so this is the one that he recommended to me. Just want to clarify that. Um, this is the Dirty Knobs, uh, Reckless Abandon. And you're thinking, who the hell are the Dirty Knobs? Well, it's uh, actually Mike Campbell from Tom Petty. Um, an amazing artist in his own right. Uh, he's the lead singer of this band. Also, obviously, the lead guitarist. This is the first album by the band, believe it or not. They formed 15 years ago. Um, and uh, But only played in certain areas of L.A. They didn't release any albums. They didn't uh, promote themselves very well. Uh, so that, again, this is the, their debut release. Um, he also honors uh, what Tom Petty meant to him. And... Um, and what they did together and in some of the songs you can almost hear Tom Petty in it uh, it's a great mixture of blues and rock um, grittiness it's uh, it's pretty damn good um, he's not a bad singer I also he's, he's a pretty darn good singer um, of course he's uh, with Fleetwood Mac now, but um, yeah, I'm really happy to have this album here. Uh, I've been listening to this quite a bit. Um, title track, great, great song. You got Pistol Pack and Mama. Uh, Chris Stapleton is featured on that one. Sugar Southern Boy, um, I Still Love You, Irish Girl. There's a cool. Uh, <laughs> song I'm not going to repeat on this one but uh, F uh, it's F that guy um, it's just a cool bluesy track and it's just like you know screw you type of thing um, don't knock the boogie don't wait Anna Lee ah honey loaded gun uh, don't knock the boogie and uh, yeah he produced it he obviously lead there's Mr. Campbell there. Great album. Love it. Loving it. Really digging it. Um, so I got that one. And this is the one I recommended to Glenn. Again, flipping through Amazon. I said, oh, what's this? Uh, played it. This is Little Albert. Swamp King. Um... Little Albert is actually Alberto Piccolo. Uh, he's a conservatory graduate uh, in jazz um, from Italy. And uh, he's lead guitarist of the Scarlet Doom band Mecca. Um, so he's been around for a while. He's had two very successful albums and uh, he's played concert all, all over Europe. But he felt he needed to express himself in the blues. And... Um, this is how uh, uh, Swamp King came about. Um, it, it's a combination of blues and uh, 
stoner doom deep dark blues as well it's heavy 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 stuff it's uh, all instrumental but man it is so freaking good so good short album but uh, um, yeah there he is there cool looking guy um, nice looking vinyl, but yeah, um, think of the blues and then, uh, harden it up a bit and, uh, make it a little deeper. And this is what this is about. So, uh, I'm really happy to have this in my collection. Um, I think Mr. Callaway ordered one as well. Um, I think he said his would arrive today. Um, so yeah, we're, uh, we're encouraging each other to spend all our money. So two great recommendations, um, that you guys should check out for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been looking for this one uh, at this one, sorry, for a bit on Amazon, and the price was right. Um, it's Weezer, the Blue Album, it's called. Um, debut album for these guys released in uh, 1992. A big hit, Buddy Holly, off of this one. Um, would have been nice to be on colored vinyl, but it's on. Nice black vinyl as well with the blue label. It's, it's such a great album. These guys are you know, a little departure from what I'm normally used to, but uh, you've got uh, Undone, the sweater song, Buddy Holly, Say It Ain't So. Rick Ocasek actually um, produced the album from the cars. Um, the album itself peaked at number 16 in the Billboard's 200. And certified triple platinum in 1995. So, no slouch of an album. Great, great stuff. Still digging this one. Still listening to it. Got a lot to listen to lately. But, uh, yeah, Weezer, Blue Album. Uh, I couldn't remember if I showed this one or not, but I'm going to show it again. Um, keeping with the blues theme. Uh, this is Mr. Buddy Guy. Uh, born, born to play guitar. This is a, such a great, great album. Um, oh, classic polka dot guitar. It's a double album as well. It's um, 17th studio album by Buddy, uh, released in 2015. Hit number 60 on the Billboard's 200, number one on the blues charts, and won a Grammy for Best Blues in 2016. Uh, some great guest artists on this one. Billy Gibbons, guitar and vocals on this one. Um, Kim Wilson from the Fabulous Thunderbirds plays harmonica on a couple of tracks. Uh, Josh Stone play uh, sings on a couple of tracks as well, and Ben Morrison, the amazing Ben Morrison, is on this one as, as well. So, um, great, great album. Love it. And just picked this one up yesterday, or just this one was just delivered yesterday, so I haven't even delved into it. I've only heard what I've heard off of. Uh, Amazon, but this is uh, Gary Moore, Old New Ballads Blues. Um, another double album by the great Gary Moore. So I'll be digging into this one for sure. Um, 15th solo album by this awesome Northern Ireland uh, Irish blues player. 
singer-songwriter, uh, released in May 2006. Uh, he does some covers as well, um, Done Something Wrong by Fillmore James, uh, You Know My Love, Willie Dixon, and All Your Love is uh, from Otis Rush, um, and also features uh, I'll Play the Blues for You on this one. So um, it's, there's the back cover, and uh, yeah, I'm really Really happy to have that one. I love Gary Moore. Um, such a great player. And again, a, a huge loss. Um, because he was so, so good. Great vocals. A killer guitar. So I'll be uh, happy to play this one. Gary Moore. Uh, old, new... Um, Ballads, blues, and again, a decent price. So that's new, all my news, <coughs> pardon me, um, and then olds. So as I said, uh, in the summertime, um, I uh, bought um, a huge haul off a friend of mine in Ottawa, Randy, love the guy. Haven't seen him in X amount of years, but um, we just caught up like it was yesterday. Uh, but anyway, there was a bunch of uh, awesome, awesome albums in my uh, um, in my liking that I've uh, come to love. But there was also a ton of albums that I wasn't quite sure what to do with. Um, uh, something a little different. Uh, but then I said, "What?" The? So I went through them yesterday, and I and I actually found some gems that I uh, failed to uh, pick up the first time. So um, the cover's a little worn on this one, but uh, this is Ginger Baker, Stradivarius. Ginger Baker, of course, a huge, um, amazing drummer from uh, Cream and Blind Faith and Hawkwind. This is a 1972 release. Uh, it's a jazz, African jazz album, I would call it. Because the first side is, is a lot of African music. The second side is, is more jazz. Some amazing guitar in there. Um, amazing drum work as well. Um, it, uh, again, the cover is a little worn, but the album itself sounds amazing. Um, you've got um, Bobby Trench on vocals and guitar from the Jeff Beck group, uh, who played under the new... Uh, uh, sorry, under the name Bobby Gass. Uh, so he was uh, named Bobby Gass on this one. Uh, you got uh, an Afrobeat artist, Fela uh, Ransom Kuti. Uh, she also appeared in concert with uh, Baker um, to uh, promote this album as well. So it's a combination of jazz, uh, African music, uh, rock music as well. Um, great, great hidden gem. I was playing it yesterday and it you know, there's a bit of crackle and pop on there, but I don't mind. It just sounds so, so friggin' good. Um, and again, it's too bad the cover is the way it is, but uh, the vinyl itself sounds great. The original sleeve. It's on uh, Alto label, or Atco label, sorry. And then we have um, But Anyhow, uh, Tea Garden and Van Winkle. Um, <laughs> this, is the, this is again on the Yadco label. Uh, Tea Garden and Van Winkle, American duo, uh, Skip Van Winkle and David Tea Garden. Um, combination of folk, rock, uh, some stoner rock as well. Um, these guys are really damn good. Uh, they sometimes uh, worked with Bob Seeger and later Tea Garden uh, would become um, uh, the Seeger's drummer in the Silver Bullet Band. And, uh, um, but anyhow, is a 1969 release. Hard to find apparently as well. Um, 
it was priced pretty high on Discogs. And um, big singles, and, and, and he had a baby. Uh, there's also a great track on there called Seasons of the Witch and uh, Run, Woman, Run. Um, it's got great roots rock, soul, um, drug as well. So I'm glad I found this one. Uh, I remember seeing it in the pile, but I kind of dismissed it as uh, maybe a country album, perhaps. But it's uh, definitely not a country album. It's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I mean, these guys do look like country folk. And there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, there's a classier picture of them there. Um, next we have, uh, where's my notes here? Something old, here we go. Uh, another gem that I found. This is Pied Pumpkin, uh, Alamode. It's on the squash label. Um, this is, uh, this is a unique band. Um, Canadian band, formed in Vancouver, 1973. Kind of neo-folk. Um, so folk with the, um, they've got violin, they've got all kinds of instrumentals going on here. Uh, Rick Scott on, on, uh, dulcimer and vocals, Joe Mock on guitar and, uh, California native, uh, Sherry Ulrich, um, who plays violin, alto sax, flute, and amazing vocals. I mean, the vocals on her are, are just outstanding. Um, it's, uh, kind of countryfied folk at times, um, and, um, neo-folk at the same time. It's, it's really, really good. Um, the Alamode album was released in 1976. Uh, after the release of it, uh, uh Sherry Alcott went on to, um, become part of Volley's band. Volley, another huge Canadian artist, um, but uh, it's um, really, really good. Glad I f I've uh, went back and found that one. Really enjoyable to listen to. And finally, found this gem as well. I don't know how I bypassed it the first time. Uh, this is Oscar Peterson, Motions and Emotions. The great, great Canadian pianist. Jazz pianist, Oscar Peterson. This guy was remarkable. It's on 33 um, MPS stereo. So motions in emotion. Um, <laughs> so good, so good. Uh, Oscar Peterson was just amazing. Um, he released over 200 recordings, won eight Grammys, uh, of course, amongst other awards that he won, um, played thousands of concerts throughout, and had a career spanning over 60 years. Um, Motions and Emotions released in 1969. It... Um, It's just his his playing style, and I've got to listen to this one more to give it justice. But yeah, it's it's a really damn fine album. Love the cover as well. So there you have it. There's some old, some new, and some VCLT two, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I got a lot to listen to, a lot of catching up to do, and. Uh, um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. It's a beautiful sunny day out there here in Canada anyway, uh, Belleville, Ontario, Canada. And take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.